Hello, everybody, and welcome to the fourth episode of the broadcast. I'm your co-host, Sango, uh, joined by my brother, Katasama. And here today, we're going to be talking about how we got our toes done. Um, <laughs> what? Well, go on, go on. Nah, mine are clapped, no. I have, like, <laughs> skin dangling off it. What? I have, like, on my toe, on my t- both my pinkies, right, I have... My toenails are split now. Ah, uh, they completely split. But why? Why are they split? It's kind of like, okay, you know how my shoes are size thirty nine, and my actual feet size is forty three, <laughs> right? So my guess is I keep bruising my pinky, that it causes <laughs> my toenail to tear, and then it it's now like it's one main toenail, and then. On the little bottom right corner of it is a tiny little splinter sort of thing. I don't know if it's skin or toenail. Oh, well, yeah. We have webcams. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay. Woo. We have two webcams that are probably going to die <laughs> before the end of this episode. No, 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 no. It's not even going to die now. It's It's dying right now. What I'm recording... What you guys, what everyone on the podcast is seeing right now is me in slow motion. It's glitching. But hey. Yeah, even I, I see that. Even I see I that. I got a webcam, so it doesn't matter. It's, it's progress. It's pr- progress. That's what it is. Yeah. At least you get to see my face instead of hiding it. So anyways, back to your toes. That's well, your well, own well, well, fault for wearing shoe sizes smaller than your own feet. That's kind of expected hey i want to be able to wear smaller shoes it's so hard finding size 43 no no it isn't Uh, no it isn't that's your own fault now speaking about toe injuries i also have my own fair share of toe injuries right now so right now i have I, (laughs) i have two swollen toes on my right foot and one sw- the the big toe on my left foot is also swollen, just from play- playing football what barefoot mean, in the bre- in, in in the backyard. So yeah. Wait, why? What happened? Is it like pink? <laughs> you know, you kind of like Thanos it's just or? swollen. It's kind of like you know gets bigger. You know, swollen. You know, it's oh. not. It doesn't turn any color. It just like you know inflates. I don't, I don't know what. So if you if you like it swells pin, up. Yeah. If you put a pin to it, will it leak? I don't know. How, how should I know? Swollen. It's well, puss inside. You poke well, it and then probably, it sprays. Oops. I guess probably maybe. But anyways, yeah, just play football and wear shoes. Oh, you're complaining. At least I wear shoes, stuff. At least I wear them. You go outside and you go step on grass and rocks and, uh, and everything in between. Nice. It's quite quite freeing, you know. Quite freeing. Just like you know, just like the people who don't wear masks. It's not like you'll wear you wouldn't. It's not like you're gonna be one of those uh, hippies and then not wear shoes when you go outside. Hmm. That would be a good idea, though. Maybe. I'm not sure. You don't need to choose shoes, at least. It's not a good idea because Thailand is hot. If you're going to go walk on the sidewalk or something, your foot is going to get burned. No, it's not that bad. It's bad. So you try walking on the road when the freaking sun is burning down barefoot. That's freaking like torture. I haven't been I've, outside. I've done that before. <laughs> I haven't been outside in a long time, man. Uh, uh, any other so, injuries? I was going towards injuries. like, yeah, just hurting ourselves today. I just wanted to, like, <laughs> the ways we hurt ourselves. Yeah. Not not um self induced. No, I mean, no, no, no. Some of these are definitely self induced. Not no self induced, but not what you're thinking. Yeah, but self induced, as in like we were stupid enough to do this action, which would cause. Some sort of accident. <laughs> for example, so, yeah. if anyone, this is what the webcam's for. I don't yeah, know we, if you, you can, we can see your scars. 
I don't know. Yeah, so this is one of my scars that I got. Let's get a close up. Basically, it's a little slit. I can't slit. really see it. You can't see it? Well, I can, kind of. But, like, to like someone who doesn't know what it looks like in real life. I don't think they'll be able to recognize it. It's just, it's somewhere around there. Somewhere. Like well, where he's actually, putting his finger. Funny enough, I don't know if it's out of uh, politeness or like courtesy, but no one has ever asked me about, oh, where'd you get this scar? Maybe because they don't see it or they do see it, but they don't ask me about it. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. how we got this scar? Let's wind back the clock. Uh, how long was this? It was back when we were in Phuket. And that yes, that swimming pool. We always go to this certain swimming pool. <laughs> it's like had free pools. It was really nice. I, I believe it's closed now, though. Unfortunately, it was like I have no idea. How would you know if it's closed? I remember not? it was closed. Like before. How we, would you remember we that? I would. There's a lot of things to remember because I. Uh, Who can Whatever. I, life, I remember the man. pool, but I wouldn't remember if it closed down or not. Ah. Uh, well, you don't have any recollection because you don't care about that pool anymore. <laughs> I know which pool you're talking about. It had like a dance class like there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that was really nice. Though. Really nice. So, we had this challenge. Let us sink in for a bit. We had this challenge. My s- older sister, Angel, proposed... Let's see who can reach the other side of the pool the fastest without using your hands and closing your eyes. So we were swimming like this. Hands <laughs> on your side, legs like... So it's kind of... It's like on a... What's one of those boards? But your hands are behind your back or something. Something like that. But here's the thing. Hands behind our back. Let's just say that. And then we're swimming with only our legs. Who can reach the other side of the pool? Who was I racing again? Oh, I don't know. I think she just dared you to do it. And she said she would stop you before you reached the edge. I, I was sure I was racing somebody. But never mind. I have no idea. Basically, I had to get there. And then my sister said, oh, I will catch you. So that you wouldn't hit the wall of the pool. So I go, I start swimming, right? Going super fast. My sister isn't there. <laughs> I don't know where she went. I think she was like on the other side. So I just swam, swam, swam. And then I hit the, I hit the side of the pool with my head. And then it bust open it. Bust open. I don't know, like how, I don't remember how bad it was, but it was like gushing, bleeding everywhere into the pool, onto the, like, uh, the grainy, like the, near the drain or something, right? Yeah, that was really bad and really stupid. I was like seven at the time. <laughs> yeah, not a good memory. So you should have put that in the big headicus video. We had this game where we would race to the edge of the pool. Oh no, where we would oh, yeah, hit our head against the wall. <laughs> Just see which one would crack. <laughs> I guess I lost. So, yeah, my mom took us back home. We had a very special kind of band-aid. It's one of those old uh, use the eggshells to fix your face kind of thing. Just boil an egg, peel it off, and put it on your on your head. It's a home remedy, but it actually works, surprisingly. I don't know if it works be, pretty well. It works, but I don't think it'll be, like, for better than stitches because even after, no like... 12, 13 years or something, I still have it here. You can still see it vaguely, but still there. Stitches, they will help you, like, heal the whole thing, right? So, yeah, that's... I have no idea. We never got stitches, so... That's a good point. Only a few of us have it, actually. Who? No one, no one. Tita. Tita got staples. Oh. No, for sure someone got stitches. No, she stapled her... (laughs) I remember seeing... Stitches. I was like, the viewers are probably very con- confused right now. <laughs> so, anyways, my sister cracked her head open, so it was kind of like split. <laughs> so they had to staple it together so that it wouldn't, li- so that it would stay together. Yeah. So yeah, she had a staple in her in her head. I thought she had like two or three. She had. She was following one of the one of our kids, uh, one of our old friends, right, 
on the monkey bars and then she just fell off, right? No, no, that was the staple. That was the staple, not the stitches. That's when she got stapled. And no, she was following following me on the monkey bars. And then while she was going on the monkey bars, she fell off and hit her head on a rock. Oh, I thought it was... So I was another kid. But never mind. That's not... Speaking of following, (laughs) Kata, you want to talk about that? You have you held a mighty, mighty grudge against me for that. Every time we mention this cut, you always say, "Oh, it's your fault because I was trying to be like you." <laughs> so, anyways, I'll just show. I have this scar. If you can see here on my eyebrow, yeah. is it like a freaking style or cut? Yeah, he's being edgy, guys. He's being edgy. No, that's a scar. <laughs> that's a scar. And it's his fault, by the way. No, no. He's just being stupid. He thought he could be up to my level. So, nah, what happened man. was no, we were no, like no, on no. the one of those roundabouts at the at the park. Mm-hmm. You know, one of those things where you like ride the horses and it spins around, kind of not with a machine. You kind of like yeah, someone has to like you know freaking use their hands to move it. Yeah. So yeah, my mom was r- spinning the roundabout around. And then once we like reached our mom, she would tickle us. Like once we reached, once we went a full circle and reached our mom, she would tickle us. And then saying was was avoiding our mom by going like inside on the roundabout, like towards the center because there's like a bar coming out, coming out from the bottom with then it attaches to like, you know, the seat of the horse or whatever. So he would go on to the bar so that she, when he passed his mom or mom that he wouldn't get tickled and then i saw that and i was like you know i could do that so, so yeah good. so i tried it i tried to go to get out the seat go on the bar that's spinning and then i fell off and got the scar i felt i didn't exactly fall off completely i was kind of hanging on the bar while i was speaking and spinning and i was getting dragged across the floor while it wait was no it's spinning. not you, you're making it sound like your face was, like dragged across the floor while Mom it was, was still kind spinning of it. no she stopped spinning but i it was still like kind of spinning so i like i was basically dragged across the floor and i fell off and now i have this scar on my eyebrow which is forever here and I have gotten questions about like the people say, "Oh, your eyebrows cool. Do you like do you cut them like, you know, by yourself?" No, I was like, "No, this is a this is a scar." <laughs> it is cool, Katana. That's a cool scar. You know it. It's gonna live yeah, with you forever. But the life. backstory is not exactly a a cool backstory to the scar. It's just dumb. Uh, yeah. So yeah, don't try that on the roundabout. No, just don't be don't be like me, man. You ain't you ain't a parkour master. <laughs> parkour master. Yeah. Uh, what other injuries did we have? You want? I want to talk about my the revenge shot you had at me when we were playing badminton. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> you talk about it because I don't really. Uh, it's just okay. So we we're just birdie or badminton whatever you want to call it just like playing normally at the house you we we normally we slam it we try to hit each other well i don't know about you but i definitely try to hit you like everybody i try to hit everybody with the bird something like that bird or shuttlecock yeah yeah shuttlecock yeah okay so knowing you you are half naked you don't wear a shirt (laughs) i go (laughs) I forgot. I don't know what this move is called, but it's basically you slam it onto the ground, right? I slam. Yeah. I birdie comes up. I slam it with the racket straight on your back, right in the middle, and then it leaves a mark. Not a not like a nose mark, just like you know when you like slap somebody and then it gets pink, something like that. <laughs> you rally back. Somehow, you hit it so hard. He hits the shell clock. It grazes my neck and it leaves a mark there. I'm like, it's probably the same thing. It hurt it hurt a lot. And a few days later it turned into a scar. <laughs> I don't know if I still have it. 
Do I survive it? <laughs> I, I don't think so. I don't, know, I don't remember which side, but it it was like a, a small slit there. It looked like I cut myself, <laughs> and then it it just it just went from a bruise to a scar. That's it. And yeah, he got my revenge that day, <laughs> and I'm going to get back at him soon, very soon. Why? Why? You just started it. <laughs> I hey, shot a freaking bullet at him. Family badger, family badger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see these guns? Oh no, no, I don't. <laughs> it's too pixelated. I can't see. I can't see anything. Move. Yeah. What about your What about yeah. your chin? Because uh, how's your chin? My chin, oh, I can't really see it. I can't really even feel it anymore. Plus, why you still felt it before? What do you mean? It's like I can feel like the mark, you know. Uh... Now I can't really. Oh, guitar! You should have been there when we were f- cleaning the 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 floor in that in the office with the water. It was what? back in the old days, guitar. We oh. just use the we we were just use the porch and then we sprayed it with a bunch of soap and then we just slide around in our underwear. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. Actually, no. When we slide around would, naked, that too, <laughs> that too. But we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> That's heavily unsanitary. Honestly, I'm pretty sure we did jousting as well. Just a bunch of kids <laughs> kicking, kicking against the pillars and then just charging into each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, it's like you know, the floor is like kind of tiles, like a bathroom. Yeah, but, but they're, like a they're patio, big tiles. Like they're you, big tiles. Yeah, it's like a patio. So basically, we spray, use a hose, wet the whole thing, put soap, and then it's basically like a slip and slide. And you're like, we're like sliding everywhere, naked, naked gets you more speed. <laughs> I just remember. <laughs> When, when we would go to... Oh, uh, here we go, here we go. I know what you're going to talk about. When we would go to the water park in uh, Siam Water Park. I don't they know have where that these, is. Which is in Bangkok. No, I mean, they like, have, where in Bangkok? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah. Anyways, there's these slides. These really, like, tall slides. You have to go up, like, I don't know, 50 meters or something. 50, 30 meters. I don't really know. Mm. So you go up. And then you, there's just this massive slide to go down. So what we would like, so what we would do to, to gain speed on these slides, once we get on the slide, once we get past the the peripherals of the lifeguard, we would pull down our swimsuits and let our butt, <laughs> our bare butt, <laughs> go on the slide so that we pick up more speed. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. So... It works. Okay. <laughs> it works. You pick up more speed, and now you're freaking sliding across like way faster than everybody else. And yeah, that's just. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then you pull them up before you hit the when you get exactly. out. Exactly. Like, when you get out of the open. <sighs> it's going Mach five. Just pull your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like how you said, like, once we pass, like, security. Like, oh, no, we're not hiding anything. No, no. My pants are up, man. Yeah. Oh, we didn't do anything. We didn't pull down our pants while we were sliding down. We got that from Dad. <laughs> All right, we're the smartest <sighs> people, okay? Uh, <laughs> people who went on the, that slide, if they heard this, they'd probably be like, what the fuck? <laughs> We're like those uh, snow sleds. Do you see those like snow sled championships with the tunnels? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What man. are those called? Bobsleds? No, I think it's bobsled. Nah, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to visit. When's the last time we've been there? Long time, but I don't really care about theme parks anymore. They're kind of like boring. Huh? I think it's boring. I find it's boring with like the wrong people. I think you need to go with like a nice, fun group, just fool around. Nah, nice. Oh, yeah, that just reminds me of that ride we went to, like at that uh, temple fair. I don't know which one. (laughs) (laughs) It was a good idea. Really good idea. (laughs) Okay, so it was like, uh, 
one of those rides with uh i don't know what they're called basically it's like think of an octopus but then on each tentacle is like a a cart for people to go on and then just spins around goes up and down stuff like that yeah. we thought it was a good idea mm-hmm. after eating dinner or something <laughs> to go on one of these rides the thing is this one is extra small it's one of those temple fairs it's not like an amusement park so we yeah. take we yeah it's like half the size of i guess let's just assume the original size that we see like at Siam park is legal <laughs> but just yeah, yeah, that. yeah 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 Gonna run. So basically, each revolution is much faster than. Oh yeah, a yeah, yeah. That's what I was getting. Way. They overcompensate the small size for. Oh, we can go faster, way faster. Yeah. Yeah, Great went, idea. <laughs> oh man, I don't remember the feeling, but I just remember that. As long as the, I remember once we started spinning, we were like, oh, "Get us oh, off this shoot. thing!" Oh, <laughs> I then, feel it. We were sick. We were like, oh, I was feeling, I was feeling my food coming up. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. And then they, they were starting to stop. But then the people on the ride were like, more, more, like encore, you know, like let's go one more time. And then the, the operator was like, okay. So, oh sure, why not? Oh. So they went again while we're still on the ride, dying because our food was about to come out. They go again, and we're like, oh my god. It's like everyone, like we're like this, right? Like, oh, it's so tired. Oh, and you're like, oh, and like it's mama. finally over. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and that that basically ruined my mood for the whole night. Uh, I didn't want to eat any more food. I don't want to do I anything. Know, I, I was just like, I'm done. Great, great value for twenty baht then. 20, 30 baht. <laughs> One ride, you're done. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Want to go back to scars? Yeah, I got these yeah, yeah. scars. Let's go. Uh, what other scars? I had this really bad knee injury. Oh, we can talk about our knees. Yeah, knees for us, we get tons of. I get, especially for me, I get a lot of knee injuries because I play football usually when you fall over it usually falls on your knees so I have like a ton of scars but this one football injury it was really bad on my knee Mm. it was really big remember it was kind of like heart shaped and it was a big cut like like I don't know the size heart shaped but just just think just think when I went to the clinic to like get it uh cleaned and you know properly bandaged <laughs> they're like they, and initially they thought i was in like a motorbike accident because my uh, my freaking knee was so fucked up <laughs> that they thought i was in a motorbike accident but really it was just me playing football i did i like you know fell over and cut my knee was it like badly. in the middle or something yeah it was i, I think i remember big. it took you it took you Months to feel, months to heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Okay. So I went to the clinic, and then the nurse was like, "Were you in a motorbike accident?" And I was like, "No, I was playing football." <laughs> and then I fell over. Were you playing on motorbikes? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that's a thing, actually. So motorbike man, football. Motorbike football. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's there's a thing. It's not as bad as stickball. So no, yeah, I had a huge cut on my leg, but yeah, I don't know what else to add to that. Honestly, actually, <laughs> not really anything. <laughs> yeah, my this turn. Is a big cut. My turn. My turn. This one you can still see it, but I'm not gonna put my leg up. But it's just like a small. It's just think of this one, but on my knee, because I use the same. Uh, we use the same uh, way to bandage it up, which is just like egg peel. So at the beach, back in Phuket again, uh, decided to play hide and seek. I this time though, my sisters went to hide behind some nice fancy rocks. Just going there is just really slippery. I was like, hey, it's a good idea to follow them. It's such a good hiding spot. 
Try so I go tread over there and then I slip. Knee hits super sharp rock, and I'm bleeding out again. I think that was like six months after my head. Hmm. Because yeah, I yeah, we totally learned our lesson. Of course, kids never learn until they have it for themselves. And yeah, there was bone. It was That's white exactly. man. I don't think there it was. was bone. It was bone guitar. It's one of those things we remember as a kid. I found I find that very hard you. to believe. It broke my cartilage to the bone. <laughs> Sorry, I find it really hard to believe that it broke to the bone. It might be the the bone where you can like when you stretch your leg out, you can wiggle it or something, right? I don't know, man. I'm not some doctor. <laughs> hey, what I say? What a kid? I just think. I'm just saying, saying. I don't think an egg peel would suffice if for a cut, for a wound that cut to the bone. You'd be surprised, at all. <laughs> no, I don't think Eggs it was the bone. Versatile. I really don't think it was the bone. Ta-da. All I can say is, as a as a kid, I saw white, white and puss coming out. It wasn't really bleeding. It was just white with my skin gashed. Like you can see the skin, uh, and then the white. I don't know what it is. I just think it's both. That's from me. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Stop. Yeah, rocks are slippery. Do not go on beach rocks. Especially when you're kids. Because you can fall. Seriously, you can fall down one of those. Because there's like, there's rocks on top of rocks. So basically, there's like little pockets where you can fall into. And basically... Oh, you can fall into the water. You can fall into more rocks and get trapped. And yeah, it's just not a good idea to let your kids play around. I still think it's weird that people have shoes, have beach shoes that helps you walk on rocks. I would still go barefoot. Mm. Hey, it's Mm. a beach boy inside of us. We just go bare. Yeah. (sighs) What was I going to say? Now I forgot. What was I going to say? What? I forgot. I I forgot was what I was about to say. Well, mm. this is great. I'm going to forget. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that none of us in our family ever broke any bones. Honestly, like we've gotten injured, but we've never broken any bones. I mean, does kind of weird. Does crack bone count? That's technically. When do we? Your... We never fractured anything. Cheetah, let's go. That's not a. That's, does that she fractured count? her skull. Yeah, I don't know about like okay, if you want to talk maybe. like if you we can leave that. But if you're talking about like breaking limbs or something, right? Yeah, we never that's... broke any limbs, which is weird because we would climb rocks, climb trees, climb fall off everything. rocks, fall off trees. <laughs> yeah, everything in between, man. <laughs> yeah, we were active kids. We're so active like, kids. Uh-huh. Yeah, like when we were like kids, we're not, we're not sitting inside playing on the tablet. I mean, we were, but we would also we could also go outside, you know, go outside into the river, catch fish. Yeah, we still have that video up, right? Or do we? What I video? Where well, you're you're catching beta fish, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I pro- it's probably on your channel. Yeah, we're active kids. Like we will go, do you know, you know, the little plants that are floating in the river. You br- get our nets. Mm-hmm. Scoop underneath because they're usually fish or shrimp or crabs, anything under those plants. And then we're scooping up, you know, see what we get. And like, that that was fun. And then we kill them. No, <laughs> no, we didn't. And also, like, <laughs> remember, remember we built a house when the, when the dam closed the river up. That was yeah, we built a little mud hut. So, like, the river was drying up and that left kind of this... It left like kind of an island because there's like a piece of yeah, there's, land that kind of stuck up. There's still water. Yeah, there's water surrounding it, but there's a piece of land that kind of stuck up because of the, I don't know, the river was drying up. Mm. And we, we, low key, just <laughs> we built like a little mud hut on that. And it took us hours. We like we got sticks, made walls. We got like trash that was floating in the river. Like used it to tie stuff together. It's just. <laughs> we put a lot of work into that. Yeah. yeah. Was it nice? <laughs> was it nice? It was nice. All? It was really nice. <laughs> we were gonna stay there. 
We're all about that survival. Yeah, we would like go barefoot. We would step on those like broken shells. And oh, get our, how many how many things did we step on, man? Yeah, we would get our feet cut a lot. And we threw, we had like their old paintings. They're like glass in the water. <laughs> yeah, shells, bottles. Why my foot is still alive? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, we were the the what the the Indian people building the house, you know, the, <laughs> those videos. Indian people. <laughs> Where there's like I don't know these in, Indian people. I don't build houses. I know what you're like, talking about. We did it first. I'm yeah, saying, we, yeah, we, we did we, it first, man. <laughs> <laughs> we you did it before us. it was popular. Someone, someone saw us while we were doing it. Like, oh, damn! Hey, we better copy that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we should have recorded. It got millions. <laughs> we were creative kids. I think our childhood isn't like a lot of others, because we like, I don't like, our oh, like be all special now for that. No, like our gaming is different. Like we, we never owned like you know a console or anything. We played mostly mostly uh PC games. Because we didn't have, you know, a console or, like, mobile games because we had, like, tablets. Yeah. But we never had a console. So, like, whenever people, whenever I hear people talking about, you know, like, Mario, Sonic, or, like, something like that, I don't know. Something that you use to play on console. I have no idea what they're talking about. Like, I, I don't get it. Yeah, all we did was play Barbie games. <laughs> we go on this one we, site, Barbie we, games. All we did or was play Flash games, like, online uh flash games that's what we played as kids not no pokemon no freaking i don't know i don't know i don't know what? yeah <laughs> yeah I don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah man mini clip nitro what else armor games y8 yeah we just search car games online and did you you drive the cars around or something yeah what that's all we did yeah flash shut down though you know that yeah i know sad I got, I got, I got, I got uh, a collection of them. You know, you know this already. I got a collection of them before it shut down, so mm. I could play all the flash games that I like. Yeah, but some of our first, some of our first videos are flash games, are us playing flash games. I don't know if you remember, but like, I think my first video was do. me and Skushi playing uh, Nitro Must Die. I remember and that. that was my first YouTube And then there was Gun Mayhem. Yeah, we used this shitty mic that we just found lying around. No, 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 we didn't find it. I, 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 so it was like a conference mic and I found it in uh, where our uncle used to stay before they tore it down. So I kind of just, ah. I kind of just stole the mic. <laughs> oh, that's a cool mic. Oh, you two, let's go. So I yeah. <laughs> Just like we have this, like, there's four of us playing this one game on this tiny laptop, this HP laptop. So no. four of us are all on the keyboard. No, wait, no, no, no. no. It was, or was it, it the computer? It, it was it was Samsung, the red one. No, no, no. We didn't play it on that. HP. That was too bad. No, we did. I remember it was no, a Bandicam. No, 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 no. Yeah, we did. It had to be the HP. I don't know if the HP was alive at that time. It's either the HP or some random PC. It's got to be mine. I remember. I well, anyway, it's just like four kids. Every, everyone's hand is on the keyboard trying to control, you know, their character. Mm-hmm. And then there's one mic in the middle. Four of us are sitting together like, oh, just huddled up, huddled up trying to play this game. <laughs> Yeah, that was that's our gaming experience as a, as children. Yeah, you got oh share the controller. We are sharing, mom. We're sharing the controller right now. It's freaking keyboard. <laughs> One person on arrow keys, another on W A S D, and then we had to like make custom or something. Yeah, <laughs> that was just chaos. <laughs> Good time. We should just use a second keyboard. I'm pretty sure we had them lying around. I don't think we knew how. To- <laughs> How if we could even do that? Uh, oh, we killed that computer though. The one we were using. 
H yeah. that HP. So this HP laptop we had for like probably ten years before it finally gave out. To the point where you can use it, but there's no battery left anymore. Man, that's yeah, a really good just, laptop. HP's HP's good laptops. I would take yeah, it. Lots of memories. Yeah, I remember when we were play, be playing um, Roblox till like freaking uh, two a.m. Just playing Roblox. HP freaking hot as shit. <laughs> HP freaking heating up. Yeah. That was yeah. gaming like. Oh, I just remember. Our gaming, our gaming like I don't know experience. What do you call our gaming? What do you how do you call it? Past would be was probably like Flash games, uh, Roblox and Minecraft. Yeah. Now it's just and I O games. I O games. Nah, that came Kinda. a lot. That came later. Though. Okay, I guess. Yeah. Now I just play Brawl Stars. And that's it. <laughs> now, <laughs> Apex, Genshin. Apex, that's Genshin. it. I play one game because I no time, man. No time. Mm. We spent so much time on Minecraft. So much time. We're Good basically memories. on Minecraft all day. Good memories. We had our own little little group. We had a gaming clan in the server. Uh, yeah, we all, like, help each other. We were bullies. Yes, probably. We were definitely bullies. Actually, I don't know about you. You were the girl. You were all nice to people. You were making friends. Me, but me, I was like, you were, I was like looking for fights in Minecraft. Well, I mean, it was PvP server. You had to fight. I didn't want to fight. Yeah, I got my I. I Go on, go on. I got the last rank, right? And then, oh, that's enough. <laughs> you you were like in probably top 10 with them. I was trying to become kills or the something. top one in the server. So basically, there's this server in Minecraft where you basically, it's basically like, I don't know. Just you say go PvP around server. kill people. Yeah. yeah, you kill people. So I wanted to be the, the number one kills no person with the most kills on this server i was close i was close i i got to second place there was this other guy that was number one i think he had around like forty thousand kills or something mm. at the time so i was catching up to him because he hasn't he wasn't logging on for a while and then i was like okay this is my chance i can pass him and then and then <laughs> I got so mad because somebody told the dude, hey, dude, this guy is about to pass you in kills. And then this dude, go, he logs on now. He starts getting kills. I got so pissed. I was like, who the hell told him that I was you trying snitch. to become... <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the... F-? <laughs> I was so pissed off because I spent so much time just working up trying to get number one. I was number two. At the time, so how much? So, how many were your kills though? In total, I was, I was, I don't know. I, I think I was like maybe, uh, thirty, thirty nine or something. I was catching up. Thirty nine k. I don't really remember, but I remember I was gonna pass it. Nah. And then freaking he logged on. I was like, oh come on. <laughs> That was a pretty big server, though. It had like what seventy thousand? Yeah, quite popular accounts. Yeah, that's gone now. Look at all dudes. Oh, yeah. What else? Oh, yeah, yeah. What else would we do as kids? Oh, oh, something, yeah. Something's in my eye. Just checking the oh. mirror. But we would play games all the time. We would like play also like Lego, Play Doh, Bottle Lids. Bottle Lids! Ah, yeah, we can talk tell about, them lids. about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're creative kids, man. We made up our own lids. games. Yeah, yeah, go on. What? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, probably our sisters came up with the idea. Basically, we 
caught, just like collected as many bottle lids as we could. So let's say a water, like a water bottle, bottle cap is one, like one person or something. Like his yeah. hit point is one, his attack is one. And then every tier is like a rare sort of bottle lid. So one would be bottle cap, which is like the lowest. The highest would be Hong Tong, which is like whiskey, a whiskey lid. Yeah. I don't think those are rare from our house. Basically, the ones <laughs> with the most rarity to us were the ones that had the highest, you know, that could kill the highest bottle lid count. Yeah. So <laughs> Hong Tong would be like 10. Okay. Yeah. We collect all these bottles. We had thousands probably. We used the toy, mm. toy shelf that Dad got us, and just filled it. So this toy shelf with buckets where you can like put toys inside. We just filled each bucket with bottle lids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't look sightly at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I don't, but we get we like look through that trash, getting bottle lids. Look, there's bottle lids under the vending machine. We, we those. Freak, they, they get they get stuck in the mud as well. And yeah. then we just pry them out. And also we went to the, we ran out bottle lids from our house. So we cleaned up the house that, uh, we cleaned up our house. And then we, dad said, oh, why don't you just go to the neighbors? So we went to the neighbors' houses asking <laughs> for freaking bottle lids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got one? Of those? Um, sure. And then yes, it got, got sometimes it got so bad that we need bottle lids. We well, I don't know about you, but I would take bottle lids that still had something inside. <laughs> oh my god! So cookie oil, yeet. Uh, what else? What else? <laughs> Shampoo bottle, yeah, I'd take that too. <sighs> I don't think we really liked the shampoo bottle. We didn't like the shampoo bottles though. We were they look. They don't look nice. They are ugly. They were. Ugly we were. We, we were bottle bottle lid racist. How? How? How would you say that? <laughs> I don't know. Littest. You're littest. We were littest. We didn't like shampoo. What else? We, we didn't like shampoo bottles. Anything that doesn't... It's not like round. We didn't like. Yeah. Had to be round. Had to have the shape, you know. But we <laughs> used uh, the ones that are like single use though too, right? Where mm-hmm. it's like crystal like- water, right? And then you just pull it and then the tab comes off. But we still keep Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We would use those as well. Yeah. Yeah, we had like whole sacks of bottle lids. Of course we did. Yeah, we just Huge. poured it in a bag. And like basically each of us have like our own collection of bottle lids. And then we would go to war with each other with our massive like count of bottle lids. So we would set up all the bottle lids like, you know, <laughs> as like as like an army. Just think. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like chess, but funner. <laughs> It's not so, like chess at all. It's just whoever has the most bottle lids. So we it. just li- we line them up on the floor, and it's like it just looks like make sure they're all like organized, and we're just they're not all messy. They're all in line, like soldiers yeah, about straight. to go to war. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, like kind of like Lord of the Rings or something. You line up, you have the whole army, and Lord, then we just like Lord of the Lids, Lord of the Lids. Yeah. And then we start okay. We start picking off, picking each other off. Okay, this per- this soldier kills this soldier, die. And then we flip them upside down. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. If they were dead, so yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why we did that though. We, when it's just like by lid count, pretty much. And <laughs> so we do. You, we I had two thousand something. You just had counted. two thousand something. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna just count it. Added up the the I don't know. Uh, yeah, but we wanted it to count. be epic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Did we trade? We had a whole ecosystem for sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> maybe we did. I think maybe we did. It's coming. I'll I remember. I really liked Red Bull bottle lids because I thought they looked super cool. <laughs> Those aren't rare at all, though. Those are definitely not rare. They were at all. rare, but for we us. made them high. We made them. Yeah, high. they were rare for us because they were cool, and we could barely find them. Yeah, for us at least. Yeah. That and then what else? The the buffalo one, the silver buffalo. I forgot what it's called. 
Carabao. Oh, Carabao, yeah. Yeah. They're basically just energy jinks. Energy, yeah. I'm Both pretty sure they know what that is, especially if they watch football. Carabao? Yeah. Do they know that? The Carabao Cup? Hmm, maybe. Carabao Cup. I know they know Red Bull. I know not... they, they definitely know Red Bull. <laughs> uh, Carabao, though, that's like very Thai. Nah, they know, they know. Just another energy yeah. drink, guys. But I'm pretty sure Carabao was lower than Red Bull, and so was uh, M150. Mm-hmm. M150 was common. Yeah, yeah. It's like a bit higher than bo- like water bottles. Mm. I don't remember like my flagship one at all. I don't remember. Well, I just remember mine was the Red Bull. And not like not a big Red Bull lid. It had it was the small Red no, Bull. No, uh, here it's local. They don't. Whoever is like outside of Thailand, they don't have bottled Red Bull. I had a friend mm. who was like, "You guys have bottled Red Bull?" Like, yeah, isn't it the original? We made it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? But yeah, it's different. It's not carb. It is. Yeah, it's not carbonated. So the Red Bull can. Well, from what I know is the guy who promoted Red Bull like outside of Thailand he decided to make it carbonated and that's why it took off here we still have it carbonated here but we also have the original which is just super sweet Uh, you've had energy drinks are just sweet yeah they're just sweet they all taste the same honestly (laughs) I can yeah I guess it's kind of like just I've had yeah, I follow yeah, they're the same. They're the same. It's not like oh, this one's better than the other. No, they're super sweet. They're so sweet you can't even tell. Yeah, it's just drink it, get energy. No, just down sugar down your throat. Surprise, people are not talking about this instead of like oh, don't drink coke or something. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, I it's been. The fifth month since I haven't drank a single Coke can. I no drink Coke pop cans. drinks. Well, Kata, don't don't half truth <laughs> this, man. <laughs> you don't drink cans, well, but I, what? I, I don't what do you drink? Cans. What did you drink today? Huh? Well, this that. I don't drink it every day. I drink it today, but today's my cheat day, okay? Today, so I you drink it what? once a week. Once a week. Nah, man. I drink it once a week, no, though. No, I don't believe you. I, I do. I do, Zach. I drink I it once a week. I don't believe you. I've been, <laughs> I've been back home I for two do. weeks. I stopped I'm, drinking I'm, now. I'd be surprised. It's only been like, a, like a, almost I a stopped. month. I stopped drinking. I only drink it, <laughs> it makes it sound so weird. Sex. Oh, I stopped drinking Coke. No more. <laughs> it's like... I stopped drinking. I drink it once a week now. Alright. See, I'll just see if I get there and I, I catch I do. you in the bathroom. <laughs> just like <laughs> sucking it back. the Coke. <laughs> sucking one off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, say no. All right. Uh, yeah, creative kids, we made our own games. We we're also like war, which based a lot of our games, basically like fighting each other. Yeah, a lot of the games we played. I remember we would get like a blank piece of paper, draw a line in the middle, and then That's start just drawing another our own those- like. It's just the same. It's kind of just the same thing as ball lids. But yeah. who can draw the most characters? Get that has lasers, has guns, tanks, and then on one side. That's still fun. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, split the piece of paper in half. Okay. Draw our armies. Draw our stickmen with guns or mm-hmm. our spaceships or whatever. And then once we're done, we start like destroying each other. So take turns. If we have a spaceship, if we have a spaceship on on one side, we draw a line, shooting a bullet to the other side. Yeah, like killing someone or something. And then it's the other guy's turn, and then just goes back. Same thing. Yeah. Oh, rocket! 
So it's just canceling each other out until whoever has the last one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Those games don't end well, probably. Just yeah, one of those like, like oh, my one's better. Yeah. I could shoot three of her guys. It's just not the it's the same thing. We did the same thing with Lego as well. We build our own <laughs> armies with Lego. Oh, uh, we had our own stash too. Uh, we like, we didn't, yeah. <laughs> we like, we didn't even follow the instructions with Lego. We bought pieces and then we just made whatever we wanted. Hey, hey I, I made. I made. We made. My favorite one was Did? that police truck until we destroyed it. Oh, okay. It. We made some, but when we most had, of our stuff. When we had Lego. At that, I mean, like, actual Lego, not like bootleg Lego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, yeah, once it destroyed the horse. Yeah. We just build like, whatever we want. Okay, like, build, take, take a head from one guy, put it on a crystal, boom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my, my leader right there. We made Lego people, like, they're like tiny little robots, right? It's not even, yeah. like, actual people because we didn't have that many. It was just, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, some Lego master can figure it out. They're just like, I don't even know what they're called. What are those holes called? So a hole on the top and a hole on the side, and it's like a little pillar. It's like a one, one oh, yeah, peg yeah. thing. And then we put a gem for the eye and then something on top for, like, hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was our little guys, and we made so many because they're ah, so, oh, they're so cute too. <laughs> yeah, they could shoot lasers out of their eyes because you know crystal eyes. Of course, you can shoot lasers out of it. Mm, I don't remember. Yeah, so we did the same thing with Lego. <laughs> Basically, just wore each other. Okay, if you want to talk about that, we did. We did also for Play Doh as well. Model yeah. that we use. Oh, it's just, we just we made war, man. our own clans, man. Like, I was the Squiddo clan, I'm pretty sure. I was my, uh, Bibbies my... or something. Yeah, my clan it basically just looks like, <laughs> just like the base was kind of just spread out. <laughs> and then one long thing for the head with an antenna and an eyeball. No, your one's, yeah, your one was like my one, but just like elongated. <laughs> Yeah. my one was like yeah. a, a sphere but then i would mold it so it could have the feet as like suction cups kind of like a, a slug or a snail and then it will be mm-hmm. like a little antenna on top and it has a giant eye and a giant smile that's how yeah you i always that. thought i i could never see it as an eye i can only see it as a giant why nose. you keep thinking of it as a nose it's a freaking eye <laughs> it's a nose <laughs> a you, don't, you, don't, nose. you don't see the eyes a giant nose yeah the nose is so big it's like blocking out the eyes that's how I saw it no, no, no. Yeah. yeah my alien's wrong wrong <laughs> no, 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 no. whatever what we didn't even oh frick my camera your died. thing froze that's a good angle <laughs> That's a good <laughs> shot. <laughs> Phone, what that? Oh, it's dying. I told you it would be dying. <laughs> oh, it, it's back. It's at 20. Yeah, I don't know how much mine is at. What's our count, actually? It's only an hour. It's fine. An hour? It's, oh, it's been an hour. Oh, we did a lot of stupid stuff as kids. A lot of stupid stuff. Actually, no. It's definitely not been an hour because we've been we're, we've been trying to set up this podcast for like yeah. ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. It's probably been like about forty five minutes, maybe. If it freezes again, then it's gonna be at ten, and we should just end it. <laughs> because Why? my Why? phone wants to die. Uh, I'm going to set up this phone as a webcam forever, and then we just get a new phone. Hmm. Oh, I can't even make any money right now, so. <laughs> what does that have to do with mine? Huh? What does well, that have to go mine, do with me? I, I need a new phone as well. Boo boo. Just make money, man. Make the money. Um, oh. what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? <gasps> I have no scars left, man. Unless you want to talk about 
my injection marks. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, we have no more scars that are. I'm pretty notable. sure we have. We we never ever like took to the hospital properly. I don't know. Parent, our parents always thought hospital bad. We can stay at home and then get better. We'll only ever go to the hospital when we're on our freaking deathbed. That's when we will go. <laughs> Same. Remember measles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was just... bad. That was really Brutal. bad. That was the worst I've it, yeah, it's ever cool. felt, it's... ever. I just couldn't sleep. I was always tired and fatigued. Eyes blurry. Eyes blurry. Itchy. Tooth aching. Throat sore. Just like your whole... High fever. It's just everything, man. Everything coming at you. It's like... All we had to do was get a normal vaccine when we were born. Yeah. this That's how it could have been avoided. But I got it at freaking... How old was I? 18 or something? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think like the older you get, the worse it is. Like sickness-wise. I don't think it was 18. I think it was, I think I was like 14 or 15. I don't 18. remember. Maybe you were. Oh, maybe 17, yeah. Just like a few years ago. But... Yeah, that's why I get, don't get with, like, anti-vax people. Uh, yeah, just get vaccinated. Holy fuck. <laughs> get the vaccine. That's it. That's it's it. It's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, just take it while you can. If it works, then take it. I don't see the reason why. Ah, it's the people, man. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, mm. uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I um, don't no idea. We've run out of topics, and now we're freaking trying to oh, yeah. find something. Yeah, something about I was like saying parents didn't want us to go to hospitals until we're at a deathbed. It's yeah. Always home remedies, man. Just sleep, rest, take eggs. Um, what else? Paracetamol. That's normal, though. Just yeah, anything. Like- if we can avoid the hospital, I don't know why. That's why it's like, if I'm sick, then I just let it take yeah. its course most of the we time. We could have some bad disease and not even know it because we never got checked. Mm, I could get checked. But am I? No. Yeah. yeah, because I don't know how to interact with it. <laughs> No, I could go to like English one, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you should because I would. Like, how would I know if I have cancer or not? I wouldn't. I don't. How would you find out if you have cancer? You have to get checked. It has to be like a cancer check checkup or like a physical, just like a normal uh, physical. I don't know. I don't really know. But I think you get checked for our stuff, and then maybe if they see something wrong or off, they can check it, like into if it's cancer or like if it's a symptom of that or whatever. I don't know. Because we never got checked, so how should well, I? Well, I mean, I would say we are definitely healthy. Mostly. Probably. <laughs> mostly, mostly. I haven't had my, like, breathing problem for a while. Mm. I guess I think, I'm not working out as much. Yeah, I think you just need more exercise to get that off. Yeah, or less like, intense exercise because that's when it happens. Or you just do exercise regularly and then... It well, yeah, I've, I've been doing that. That's probably why it's not coming back for a while. There's, yeah, because of course, if you like never exercised before, you're just sitting around, and then you start exercising. Of course, you're gonna get all freaking fatigued and like mm-hmm. achy and all that. Like you're just not gonna be ready for that workout. Just we have people who go exercise. I don't get it. You feel so much better by yourself. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like you're putting to something, even though you don't see anything. You feel like you're doing something because you wouldn't have done it before. You just like, like feel active. Like if I don't exercise, I feel like shit. I feel like sickly. I feel like I, like I have a headache, and I'm just and you're like, not doing anything, so you're like bored. Yeah, yeah. Like My even now, week. Even now, when I, got, I don't ex- I got a I got a pull up bar. I set it up at my bathroom door, and now I could do 
five reps at a time from two. <laughs> yeah, hey, I mean it's progress. Yeah. Plus, pull-ups are hard. Honestly, I don't even think I don't know how many. I'm doing like I can actually I'm doing do. like the ones at the front. I like when you twist your arms like that. I believe uh, these ones are easier. Right. I have no idea. I don't really think it arms. makes a difference. Yeah, it does. It target is targets different muscles. Hmm. Damn, <sighs> getting that wide ball. I'm getting that. Uh, you ever see those charts? I'm going for not like buff, but lean. Uh yeah. That's it. I can't get buff. There's no way I can't get buff. I can get buff right now. No, if I need money, man. Not money, just like put. Yeah, you need to buy like put your money the right food properly, and I don't want to eat properly. That's the thing. Yeah, I want to enjoy my I mean, food. T- today I had I had though, I made a nice salad with like, uh, penne. You know what penne is? It's like noodles. No. The, the short ones, but pointy and cylinder. I don't know. Uncultured, anyways, just like sp- sp- pasta, pasta with tuna and chickpeas and a bit of salad dressing. Ooh, that was so nice. Nice and healthy. I don't know how many calories that was. I just kicked the table. <laughs> uh, but then today it was like uh, 7 Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to eat what I want. It's, honestly. it's. I've been eating 7 Eleven every day now, ever since, uh, lock, ever since lockdown. It's just so easy. And then I always get green tea. Uh, Nam, which is like fermented sausage with bacon. You ever had that before? I have it yeah. right. I have it right now next to me. Also. You had this one, right? This one, this one. No. I bought two bags. <sighs> I'm not finished yet. I'll eat it later. But it's so mm. good. Nam is just so good. Get off. So good. Nam is overrated. What do you mean overrated? I don't like Nam. It's I don't get why you though. guys like it so much. It's I nice don't like it. Spicy. I don't get it. It's just okay. Yummy, chewy, savory, fermented, it's, salty. It's just okay. It just tastes like sour pork. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I don't get it, man. Hey, it's a delicacy here in Thailand. I think I don't know. I don't, I don't know. think so. I'm pretty sure you like the rice balls that street vendors put out. Yeah, that's nam. That's like that. That's different because I eat. Oh, it because it's chili. cooked, huh? It's nice and but you know grilled. You could do the same thing. You know, it's not exactly. You don't have to eat Plus, it cold. I only eat it like barely. Actually, no, I barely eat it. What? What are we talking? The I barely eat that. I I never get this. I only eat them when they're offered to me. Oh. I, I do the same thing with like Thai snacks. Yeah, Thai snacks. I, Thai snacks are good. Some of them are, are yummy, but I don't like. I don't really like a lot of them. Nah, some of them definitely no. It's like if it's like wrapped in a banana leaf, probably not. I like those. I it, like the ones. It depends what it's filled with. Cause on, there's like it. different banana leaves. So it's the one where it's like pointed out like a triangle, right? Yeah. yeah and then yeah. there's other ones where it's like wrapped like this. That one I do not like. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I do not like it. The, the ones, ones that are wrapped up in a triangle with uh, have this kind of filling in it that's like sweet. Those ones are good. Yeah, it's like coconut and inside chewy. And- but some of them I just don't like. It depends what it's filled with. And also, I don't really like la chong. What are those? Or like it's kind of like the milk, the milk with those jelly things in it. I don't really. Those are. I can't really explain it. Wait, 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 wait. Milk with jelly? You talking about bo loy? I don't know. I it's is it like of... solid or it's like no, no, or... like it's like this green jelly. I don't know. Oh, you don't like. <laughs> 
when it's like when you day 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 it's like tapioca starch right and then it's jelly and it's sweet and then you could pull off like each slab right no not those not those i like oh, those oh god the one that is, it's like in me- <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so, like it's set up like cereal or there's milk and then you put these like jelly strips that are yeah green it's that's it. boloi no, that's no. not that's not Boloi. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. I think mistaken. it's mistaken. Lord mistaken. Chong. I'm pretty sure it's called Lord Chong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I heard Tito talking about it. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like. Sure. Chow- that's okay. Yeah. I don't like Chao Kui. I know you don't. Like <laughs> I don't. What about those uh, those like tacos with the cream, and then on top it's like carrot shreddings or something? Oh, uh, those those are okay. Those depend. If it's sitting out too long, probably not. Like Those are okay, but I really like Kanom Kok. Kanom Kok is just the best <sighs> Thai snack to me. Have we ever? Tr- that's like that's pretty much just Thai takoyaki. Thai takoyaki. No, it's not. Without the without the taco, so it's, it's without the dough either. It's like what do you mean? With I don't know. I don't know what Kok, what is Kanom Kok. Is it? Is it's, it like it is milk? dough. It's dough and coconut, and then well, anyway, it's, it's pretty much the good. same. Yeah, 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 but it's the same cooking pot. Wait, wait, are we talking about the same? T- it's fried, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's like it's the same. I mean, it's, I'm pretty. It's probably probably the same thing. Or are you talking about something else where it's like it's ra- it's in a banana leaf? Again, no, 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 no. But then you push it out with a tooth with your finger, no, no, no. and then it's con- you eat it like that. That's not kurum kok. Kanonkok is the one that's like in the takoyaki, whatever cooker or whatever. Then, yeah. yeah. And that is good. Corn or something. I will always get kanonkok. No, I'm like, just so there. I'm just glad we have coconuts here, <laughs> and use right every day coconut milk. All that. There's also another coconut delicacy. It's like twenty baht. <laughs> it's also like co- it? it's like. No idea what that it is. It's just it's like coconut, but it's green jellyish at the bottom, and at the top is like coconut milk. Uh, it's like a jelly, and right. you use a spoon to no scoop idea. it up. You know oh, when you see it. Oh, that, oh that, that, yeah, those are good. Yeah, they're all good. But um, I never normally I never buy them. Yeah, I only eat them when someone else I only eat them when someone else gets it. It's like, oh, yeah, you got it. I don't really, like, know how to buy them either. It's just, like, because I never bought them before. I'm pretty sure it's just normal. Yeah, but it's just, like, I never, like, notice it when I'm walking around the market. I only notice, like, the other things that I want to buy. The only time you ever go to the market and then you only get the fried chicken and fries. It's not really even Thai. (laughs) <laughs> hey, I get Thai stuff. What else do you get? What else you get? Uh, egg on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you always get egg on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecued eggs. I still don't, I don't get why they're on sticks. Why no, can't they just no. put them on the grill? They're delicious. Do they have to pure? Oh, oh, no. oh my god. That that one in Phuket though, what giant stick dough oh, yeah, inside yeah, yeah, is a sausage? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, they still sell they that don't, around they here. They don't sell stuff? them here. It's probably like a southern thing. I don't think so. I think they sell them. Here I've never seen it. I've never seen it here. I I think it's uh, there's maybe at like big fairs or something. Yeah, it's rare. Those are rare. <laughs> But it's so good too. Oh, the sausage wasn't that good. I always skip it, but the dough was yeah. good. <laughs> Street food here, market food here, fair food here. Awesome. The best. The best. The best. <laughs> no. <Pop-pop>. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> I'm not That's, biased. I haven't been. I don't. Th- I don't know about the best. But it's not. It's, it's not good. like I've been anywhere else, but it's still the best. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, street food here is just delicious. Ah, why are we talking about food, actually? Yeah, I'm getting hungry now. Oh, God. (laughs) You know what I had for lunch? Mama noodles. Oh, yeah, healthy, you know. 
Oh, I work out. For those who don't uh, know, we call instant ramen here Mama Noodles. I have no idea why. Mama Noodles is a brand, but everyone around in Thailand calls instant ramen, instant ramen uh, Mama Noodles, which who is call, a brand. Who calls it instant ramen? Idiots. Everyone ramen. else. Everyone else. Mama noodles. <laughs> only, Thais, only Thai people call it Mama Noodles. Mama noodles just runs off the tongue more. It's just better. <laughs> and also, you you think that ma, the mama company will be so happy when they have their own food? Like, there's a street food dish named after their food, after their yeah, product, yeah. right? Yeah, mama. <laughs> People buy that. Yeah, mama. Except that it doesn't matter because they get an even cheaper version of mama noodles. <laughs> What's it called? YY or something? I don't know. Yeah, why why noodles? Nick quick. Oh, we should do a tier list. A mama noodle tier list. See, even I'm calling it mama noodle. A mama noodle tier list. It should be called instant ramen noodle tier list. Yeah, that's a new video. <laughs> I haven't eaten mama in so long though. Hmm. I can still do it. Yeah, I can still do it. Mama noodles tier list. <laughs> And yeah, from I've I've seen videos like kind of like that. No, they do instant ramen, but we do mama. No, I see like <laughs> I watched this dude. He like he bought like all the like kind of brands of alcohol you could get in a convenience store in Japan, and just basically like tasted all of them and like ranked them. I guess. So he just drank all night to taste. No, nah. to taste. No, he not all night. Just like you know, take a sip. Of everything. If he doesn't like it, throw it away. <laughs> oh man. Give yeah, but me. we don't have to, that Give disposable me. income. <laughs> you, you should do that. Well, no. I'm lifting up my shirt <laughs> on instinct. Uh, I just saw that. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. Ah, oh, it's so hot. Oh, no. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Oh, it's so humid here. Uh, yeah, you should just like buy a convenience store snacks. I don't know, like rank them, put them on tier, tier 7-Eleven. list. Seven Eleven, Seven Eleven tier list. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, do that. We're stealing ideas. <laughs> YouTube is always about stealing ideas. You're stealing ideas and then twisting it into your own. Yeah, make it somewhat creative. There has to be a new thing, though. A new thing. Mm. What could we do in Thailand that would, like... Mm. That's, like, unique to Thailand. That only people in Thailand can do. I have no idea. Nah. Uh, you can't do anything anyways, even if there was. Yeah. Whatever. Brainstorm later. This is the part. The podcast right now. I don't know why we're podcast. We talk about things we already know, or that we think we know. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ooh, did you did you watch uh, scarce video? What scarce video? I've I just recently found out there's a policy about adopting kids from Thailand. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, where your thoughts get out, we got drama. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to mention them. Though. So what? I would. Well, first off, my stance is I don't think kids should be on YouTube. That's it. That's the yeah. first thing as well. If you want to make. Uh, if you want to use your kids for income, then I don't really like that. That's it. Yeah. Which will probably, I'll probably never show like our kids ever until like old enough because they can't, they can't tell me, oh, I don't want to be in a video or something. Yeah. Unless they want to be in a video, then yeah, that's fine. I just don't want to show kids. I don't, I just don't want kids in my videos because I don't want, also, I, yeah, want, I don't even want kids watching my videos. <laughs> yeah, but it's also YouTube sees kids, oh, comments disabled very much. Save the mm. kids or something. 
But uh, yeah, when I found out this couple decided to not adopt a kid from Thailand because this policy states that you're not allowed to record them, take pictures of them in any way for up to a year. And then, no, I'm pretty sure you can, but you can't share them on social media. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 I can't share them. So these, this couple wants to use their kid for views, which is, it's like, did you want the kid in the first place, or did you want him just to show off in your videos? You know what I mean? Did they actually... Like exotic type did they want? Did they, did they want know? to adopt the kid, like actually adopt the kid or was there like an ulterior motive right if you're going yeah. to ad- like my like in the future i would probably want to adopt a kid for me yeah because our family's big enough already our legacy can go on with other kids other my with my other siblings i don't need to pass down my bloodline and my phone's dead <laughs> if my phone's gonna die <laughs> whatever whatever go on oh wait, it's 20 percent. what the frick is wrong with you phone uh, <laughs> so my sense is I'm going to adopt in the future I do not want to if I ever want to become like important or something I don't want to show off my kid I just want to keep a secret because yeah. there are weird people and stuff like that I, I just want him to like keep their privacy and, yeah yeah keep their privacy yeah. until they get older or something and then they have a phone and they can do whatever they want to do with it yeah if they want to be on on camera then yeah if, if they're older like and they can like think for themselves you know so yeah this so they wanted to use this kid for their youtube channel they didn't want they didn't want to adopt him because of that policy so yeah i was just saying if they really wanted the kid if they actually wanted the kid they would keep the kid and for that year and then after the years back yeah. they could show exactly it's it's one year they could still freaking show the kid afterwards if they want it even though i don't think that's right but they could do it after a year and that's not that's not even that long, honestly. No, it's not long at all. But they want to show everyone now, so they're gonna look elsewhere, I guess. Eh, it's sad, but also a good thing for the kid because those would have been bad parents. Yeah. Maybe like different opportunity, but it's like from his her perspective. Did you actually want me when that time at that time? Yeah. If that policy didn't exist, right? Okay, drama over. <laughs> uh, Ooh, I don't want to mention. Yeah, you. I don't want kids. Saying that you, right now. you might. I don't know. I just really don't know. <laughs> what if you accidentally got a kid? I guess then I would have to take care of it. Oh my god, phone! Shut the frick up. Low power mode, okay? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. If I got a kid, if I had a kid, I would not let them on social media. I don't think I would even get them a phone like early, you know. Oh, right. I would get the I would give them a phone until I know that they are, you know, smart. Have I said this before on the podcast? I I know I, I said remember. it before to you, but I don't know about the podcast. Anyways, uh, well. If, if I had a kid, I would not let them on social media. I would not give them a phone until I know they are capable of knowing what is wrong, what is right, like what is acceptable, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know. And because it's like so many kids out there are so stupid and like I don't know, they follow these stupid trends and sh- stuff like that. Maybe like, I don't know, go licking shampoo bottles or something. That's like no. No, oh, don't like, you say like licking toilets because people yeah have something like done that. yeah they're saying that or stuff like that. It's like I need to know that my kid isn't gonna be stupid and like go do sh- shit like that and know like okay this this isn't right okay just like just like be like a normal kid knows what's right knows what's wrong and knows how to think for themselves and then I would give them a device that they could you know. Why does it sound like you think you're at some point in time in their age, they're going to be smart enough. It's like before then, were they stupid? <laughs> were your kids stupid? Before I'm just you got saying, saying, 
If they got it any early, maybe they're not mature enough. Okay, I, I definitely know. I definitely thought fell for stupid stuff as well. Like, I would watch, yeah. I don't know, free prank videos, and I, and I thought they were so real, you know? Like, oh my god, this guy is actually going right. around slapping yeah. people's butts. Like, no, <laughs> no, this, that's not real. <laughs> Oh, if your kid was a girl, she is. She doesn't exist. She does not exist. <laughs> if your kid was a yeah. girl, she would not exist. I've already had. We already have like, like I see, uh, like our little sisters who's following her, and it's just pissing me off. Hmm. What do you mean? Her followers, let's say, are not kids. Uh, let's just say that okay i've already told other people about this already but wait it's just, you follow her account of course i do I didn't she's even my know. sister <laughs> well i didn't even know okay i didn't know anything uh just find out yourself man it's just weird people for sure i just just like, you uh, be, yeah you always have girl, to be extra careful yeah, if you're a girl, you're gonna get like more creepy, freaking dudes following you around. It's just the fact on that social media. Just a lot of people have been called out and then exposed later, like having yeah. just being like weird, freaked up people. Man. It's just yeah, I like, don't want. Just don't put the, don't put your kid in a situation like that. You have to be extra careful. Yeah. Yeah. Sense. <clears throat> don't be stupid don't do stupid stuff like going inside on a roundabout and <laughs> cutting your eyebrow open or swimming <laughs> blind in a swimming pool don't or... trust anyone don't trust your siblings <laughs> <laughs> or eating before going on this freaking roller coaster guy esque ride Moral, oh. you learn from your mistakes and then you grow from that. That's a good way yeah. to end this. Don't be a stupid. But we kid don't learn to history. History repeats itself. <laughs> yeah, if you're a kid, don't go on social media. Be like us, play with bodily. <laughs> be loser. <laughs> be losers until you're like adults. <laughs> and then, yeah, take it from there. <laughs> yeah, you, you're just like a. You're the, you're still losers, but I'm yeah. I'm glad I did that instead of internet. Yeah, but now yeah. I'm fully internet. So <laughs> yeah, but at least we know we know how to defer. Th- like we can think for ourselves, you know. We can form our own thoughts and opinions, not just follow. I don't know the freaking trend wagon. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that I think. I think so. That's I hope it. I. I'm smart. I probably had uh, other points in the past. But yeah. All right, guys. That's the closing. uh, What episode is this? It's episode four? I said four. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is closing episode. We're closing episode four up now. You can find our links in the description below. And of course, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and listening. I yeah. uh, hope you had yeah. a good, fun time. And yeah, we'll I doubt see any of you made it to the end here. If you did, then great. Well, I definitely don't watch our podcast. I don't watch them either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, see you guys next week. See you Monday. Bye, guys. Yeah. Okay, or whenever bye. Just come out. Bye. Bye.